Thanks for joining us. The Canada Winter Games are just days away and there's some excitement as CKBG News is preparing to host a live newscast each weeknight from the Games Plaza. But first, the Games are all about the athletes and Prince George will be well represented. Everywhere you look at the 2015 Canada Winter Games, there'll be Prince George athletes representing our city and our province on the national stage. Team BC officials say 30 athletes from Northern BC have been selected, 19 of those coming from or having direct connections to PG. Justin Almeida and Doran Luding will play hockey, Justin Hampel will figure skate, while Sydney Irving will play for Team BC in ringette. Definitely as we get closer, it's like, oh my gosh, this is really happening. Um, it's an honour to be from Prince George and to be representing my hometown in the Games and to be part of such an amazing team is really, it's an honour. Heading outside, Robert Kreitz, Claire Lapointe, Arthur Roots and Emily Dixon will take part in the biathlon, while Marietta O'Dine and Evan B. Sean take to the slopes and snowboarding. The speed skating ice will be littered with Prince George athletes. Nico and Carolina Hiller will skate in long track, while Kelly Swan and Vanderhoof native Allison Demaray hit the Kin One for short track. I don't think it's set in fully yet, but I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of it. And with like my teammates from the same club, I'm really excited to go with them. We've been building up for such a long time, and four years now, training day in, day out, and it's all paid off now, so it's awesome. The NSC will play host to a number of Prince George competitors. Tony Proctor and Maya Schoenberg don their bows and arrows in archery, while Joel Ewart and Avril Harris will play wheelchair basketball. Harris has also been selected to read the athlete's oath at the opening ceremonies. Joining them will be Lavanna Lass, Grace Northrop, and Kristen Yanni in judo. To compete in front of like all of my friends and my family and to represent my city, you know, because it, it would be unbelievable. So I want to prepare and, you know, try and compete as well as I can uh, for the home crowd. So whether it's hockey or ringette, speed skating or archery, or any of the sports at the games, Prince George will be well represented as the athletes showcase their skills on the national stage. Hockey is one of the main draws of the Winter Games with the men's and women's tournaments taking place throughout the two weeks. On top of the fans at the games, scouts and coaches will be there putting the pressure on these young athletes. No sport is more synonymous with the Canadian spirit than our national pastime. Young men bearing the expectations of a province under the eyes of a nation. They've done it. BC has won gold at the Canada Games. In 2011, the BC boys won hardware, but they returned home with much more than just a medal. The tournament's different. It's kind of, you're just come together so quick and stuff and it's something you kind of can share and like share so I keep touch with a lot of them it's just, I've met people there and people that I'll be friends with the rest of my life. It's definitely one, once in a lifetime that you get to play play with uh, the guys from around the province. I know uh, I still talk to talk to most of the guys. I know Josh Connolly from the Cougars. He, he played with me as my D partner but uh, yeah I just really soak it in. Um, it's definitely a special time and it's a time you should have fun. With no formal national championship, the provincial rep format for the Canada Winter Games is a unique opportunity for kids to play alongside the best players in their province, an opportunity that only comes around every four years. I was just playing major midget, uh, playing against just guys from, from your own province, right? Um, and you kind of get the best, best group of guys from around the province and you're playing national. So, I mean, you, you really get a taste of what guys are from around the whole country and uh, the compete level really picks up and it's definitely a fun tournament to play in. It's kind of overwhelming at work and stuff. You don't realize, like, you go there, and, like, we went to Halifax and it was like 50,000 people watching and stuff. You're on TV and stuff, and you're still only 50, and so I uh, just kind of got to come together quick and uh, just, just enjoy it. This year's edition features two young men playing their major midget hockey right here in Prince George. While they hope to follow in the footsteps of the 2011 squad, they are aware that donning the BC across their chest is a privilege granted to few. It's a dream to represent your province and then, um, you know, the next step is to, you know, wear that leaf and that, that's the greatest honour and that's, that's all you really wish for sometimes. At the BC camps we watch former video at the 2011 Halifax Games and the atmosphere there is unbelievable and we want to bring that here. Kyle Burrell is one of the team men that play for Canada Winter Games, he just take it all in, he said, it's once in a lifetime and work hard and have no regrets at the end of it. 
While the crowds may be overwhelming, the boys are excited to play in front of their home fans and perhaps a few familiar faces. All my family and friends will be here. It makes it more special. It's, it's a big tournament already, but hopefully we have a sold out rink every night and knowing they're there watching me and maybe seeing them after a game will make, it feel more, make me feel more comfortable, so it'll be nice. Hometown crowd, so that's gonna help us a lot. Um, just the atmosphere, I have a feeling that's gonna be the greatest thing about the tournament. Pressure to perform can be a daunting experience. At only 16, these boys are asked to take personal responsibility in being ambassadors of their sport, their team, and their province. Their long journeys lead right back to the first time they laced up a pair of skates, but now they get to play on Canada's biggest stage. Play with your heart. Um, if you play with your heart, you'll get everywhere. Those athletes who win medals on the traditional territory of the Clet Le Tene will go home with a very special keepsake. The first ever host First Nation has enlisted elders and community members to make moose hide pouches. Every medal winning athlete will go home with one. The pouches could have been mass produced, but the Clet Le wanted them to have a special handmade touch. Everybody is so excited to be, to be part of history as um, if you heard that this is the first time a um, Canada Winter Games have a co-host First Nations and um, everybody's so excited. I've been, my phone's been off the hook right now and everybody's excited just to come and be with the elders and hang out and share stories and, and just help out. Still to come, CKPG News gets into the spirit of the games with a live broadcast each weeknight at 5 o'clock from the Civic Plaza. And if you can't make it to every event through the games, why not enjoy them in the comfort of your own home?